back, welcome, 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 all right, I did go out and buy myself a raw topaz, so I'm happy about that, um, <clears throat> I feel like I'm losing my voice, um, and I did purchase a new deck of cards, it was kind of calling to me, so, Let's see what we get, okay? You know me. I don't go through them. I read intuitively, so I'll get what I get, and you'll get what you get, and you don't get upset. How's that sound? Ooh. Okay. It is the, um, what's I going to say? Hold on. Oh, let me shut my ring off on my phone, guys. I'm sorry, because I guarantee that will go off. So it's the um, Santa Morte deck, okay? Some would say La Santa Morte. Um, but it's pronounced, well, the deck itself is, is Santa, all right? Santa Morte, however you want to say it. Um, I, did, I did briefly YouTube what she's about. <clears throat> so... I guess she represents, she's the guardian of death, okay, um, like the goddess, it's no other, it's, it's, it's like, um, people believe in whatever they want to believe in, same thing, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter, you know, as long as you're happy, so, let's see what this deck has to say. She is all saged and ready to go. That's a too many. Maybe she's not ready to go. Maybe she's not ready to go. Okay, she's ready. <laughs> She's ready. That's a whole lot. <laughs> Two of cups. I see um a beautiful connection, but what I see is a reconciliation. What I see is an even give and take of emotions being shared and talked about. Okay. We got the Three of Cups. That's probably why I felt that reconciliation. Um, it's celebration. Um, this reminds me of like the family celebrating. And then we have the Eight of Cups. This is... Must be linked to the family. This is bizarre. <clears throat> I'm feeling like some type of death. Um, I don't know if you walked away from something that could have been fantastic. Because now we have the two of pence. What is this telling me? Somebody walked away from something that could have been good. Or somebody walked away from a third party. Somebody walked away from a connection. Okay. But here's the thing. 
I feel this as a reconciliation, and a 3 can be a reconciliation. So this is where I'm confused, because I don't feel two stories. I feel it's one story. I think it's two souls coming back together after something has died. Because this is all about evening out the scales. Finding the balance. You know, juggling. Somebody must have been juggling something. But now, this this isn't juggling. This is, this is balance. Together you grow with this beautiful butterfly. Together you grow. Okay. I feel death. And to me, this is kind of like a coffin. I don't... I don't know the Mexican rituals, rituals like that, but I believe you guys celebrate deaths. I believe you do that. Like, you have a big old party, shots of tequila all the way around. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's a big thing, from what I remember. But that was years ago. If I, I'm, I might not, don't quote me, I might be wrong, okay? So, I feel like you are celebrating a death, and I know that sounds crazy, I probably sound nuts. <laughs> I'm going to have to Google that. Um, or, you know, it, in a, no matter what type of death happened, occurred, okay, it's no matter what religion, you still, you have that, you have that dinner, that ceremony, you celebrate their life, you know. This is all out, like, shots of tequila, bumping music, like, this is all out, okay. Um, but... I don't know if it's telling me you're never, you're never not together. Like that connection will always be there no matter what. Okay. Um, you still grow together, dead or not. Or what this is saying is somebody passed, but you belong to the dead already because you're so spiritual. So together you grow. You don't even have to be together. Like, it could be a sibling. See what I'm saying? Like, it could be a parent. Together you grow no matter what because if you're super spiritual or no religion, you kind of belong to the dead, okay? In a beautiful, beautiful way. I'm not trying to freak anyone out. For those who know what I'm talking about, will understand that this is a beautiful, beautiful thing. They got you. You guys' souls are still together. They're they're nurturing you, okay? I'm going to do another read because this is what this is. This is the morning of a death. and it, But it, you should be celebrating, okay? It's, it's hard. But I, I guess the bigger message here is they want you to know that the two of you are still growing together. No matter, no matter where you go. No matter where you go in life. This person is with you. Okay. So, it's a beautiful message. I'm not even going to say what a bizarre read for the first time around because that that's truly what I'm feeling. This is somebody mourning of a death, but celebrating at the same time. But they want you to know that they're still with you. You guys are still connected. See what I'm saying? You're still connected. They still got you. They also want you to go on your path, though, with these twos, 22s, twos, twos. Okay. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 6. Yeah. Get going, okay? Um, <clears throat> because it's it's protecting, okay? It's protecting you. It's it's healing energy. Um, it's loving energy. It's it's loyal energy. Even though this person is not here in the world, like, is not here with you today because they've crossed over, this is a huge message. Like, they're still here. They still got you. I can't read this any other way because this is what this is. So, you know... <laughs> It's, I don't know what this deck's going to bring us, but I'm going to do another reading for you. I, I still think it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful, beautiful reading, if you ask me. It's gorgeous. It can't be easy. 
what what it is you went through. That is for sure. But um, this is you're about to celebrate. You already celebrated, and if it's already, it's been a little while. It, it's definitely been within the last couple months for sure. Probably within the last two months, two weeks, something like that. Four months tops. That connection's still here. You still grow together. That's their biggest message for you. They're still with you. They have you no matter what you think. It's like I'm feeling that like I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm healing you. I don't know if this is go after your connection. One of these is kind of go after your connection. So I'm not sure if you had a conversation with somebody before they passed away. It, it's it's something. It's a moment that was shared. I'm going to have to pull an angel message for this one and then wrap it up, okay? And then I'll, I'll do another one. But there's no way I can turn this around on anything else at this, point, at this point. Any messages, please? Any messages for this particular group? So we got life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve what needs to change and heal. Anything that is unbalanced. See what I'm saying? They want you to go towards whatever is going to balance you out. There's something here that can grow. So this is that two of cups. That's that family member, that sibling, that lover. Anyone who passed away, that's who that is. That's that unconditional love. I got you, love. This is go towards it. There's somebody you can grow with. I, there had to have been some type of conversation. Take inventory of your life. Resolve and, and change anything that needs to be healed or anything that's unbalanced. So they want you to go towards that, okay? Then you got moon cycles. Notice how the moon affects your energy. Capitalize on them, okay? Take advantage of that. If you get a burst of energy, do something about it. If, you know, just try to work with the energy is all it's saying. Um, and they understand you're more sensitive I was going to say, something felt really weird. That's that card. I don't know how it got mixed in, but it's the it's the magician. Go manifest something. Go put something together. There's, um, you can manifest something here. I don't know if W means anything to anyone, but, um, or if you're seeking spiritual advice, if you're going for a reading, you're going to church. This person hears you. They're telling you to go. You know. You know what they're talking about. This is a message from a, a past loved one, ladies and gents. This is a message. Okay. Um, so, with that being said... Um, It's like you know. You know what this is. It could be a reconciliation between you and your father, you and your mother, you and a sibling, you and a lover, you and a best friend. Go mend it. Whatever it is can grow again is, is what they're telling you. You know, go... You're having a hard time going over the death in your head over and over and over. I'm, I'm, that's normal, okay? But no matter what, they got you. This is your message. You know what this is. Something's clear. Something's clear to you. And I don't know if you were waiting on this message from one that passed over. I don't know, guys. It's heavy, though. I can just feel it. It's just it's heavy. You know what to do. Whether it's moving, what, you know, whatever it is, you know. Go, go manifest something new. Oh, I, I thought of the W, but that's actually will. W-I-L-L. -L. Will yourself to do it, or you're dealing with a will. But to me, it's, it's will yourself. Or, if there's a will, and you're waiting to see what you get from it, it won't be long. But 
if they left some type of money in the will or, or some type of something, you know what to do with it. All right, so what will it be? Clearly, you know, you know something. And it has to do with this growth, whatever this is, no matter whom it is. It's a it's a beautiful reading. It really, truly is. I love you guys, all right? Have a fantastic rest of your day. Go on a new adventure with the Page of Wands. It's, it's time. That's the second message today. This is a... Hey! I'm doing a video! Driving me ape shit. Thanks. I'll be done in a minute. Freaking ex-husband. Um, <laughs> this is the second message today. That this is time. It's time to take this adventure. So somebody needed that message from somebody who was crossed over. I I'm not sure what that's all about, but you most definitely will. Be brave. Be courageous. You know, it's also the six of pens. It's, it's being... It's the six again. When I talked, this is the whole six too. It's the protecting, it's healing. They're protecting you. They're healing. It, it, it's go have a teaching moment. You know, be responsible and loving. If you need to sacrifice, sacrifice. Be loyal. Be true to who you are. You know how to do the fair, the fair thing. Okay. Again, second message today is saying it, it's time. It's beautiful. Go take an adventure. They got you. Cheer up, buttercup. I know it's not easy, but what a beautiful message. There's something, whether it's a person, place, or thing, that can grow. And you know exactly what that is, because you've talked about it with this person. I love you guys. Take care of yourselves. Bye.